Hello, this is Scott Cunningham, and you're joining me today at the Faculty of Technology Policy and Management at the Delft University of Technology. In the last two Setting the Stage videos, we discussed the large volumes of text data available in the world and how you could apply these data to monitoring high technology development. This week, let's put these ideas of competitive intelligence directly into action. For instance, what new things are going on today at Apple? At the site Patently, at Patently Apple, you can follow a technology journalist as they blog and tweet about new developments at Apple. Patently Apple tracks the trademarks, patent grants, and patent applications for Apple. Then they discuss and interpret these findings for their followers. What sort of things does Patently Apple learn about technology, technology developments at Apple? Here is one specific invention which is reported by the site. An Apple iPhone already has a light sensor and wireless communication capabilities. Why not replace the light sensor with a solar cell? That way, the, electri the extra electricity you harvest from ambient light could be used to keep your battery all topped up. And if you've already got a full charge, then that excess electricity can be transmitted to all other nearby devices. That's innovation on the page from Apple. You've probably already heard of the five W's. Those are the who, the what, when, where, and why of any journalist's story. Those are the basic questions used uh, by any journalist in uncovering a story. If you know the answer to those questions, you've got a whole picture. And those are the same questions that you can find by looking at patent applications. Let's take a quick look at this new Apple invention I was just telling you about. Incidentally, if you want to follow along, take a look yourself. Go to USPTO.gov and search their free database of patent filings. This particular patent number is 2015-01-990-62. That's 2015-01-990-62. We can run down the five W's and see what there is to be learned from this particular patent. Okay, now, who is involved? Well, there's Apple for sure. They're the assignee for the patent. Another important who is the inventor. They're listed right there on the patent as well. And next, we might ask what? What has been patented exactly? The patent describes the technology, and it also acknowledges all the work that came before it. That's known as the prior art. When was it patented? This gray application was made in the first quarter of 2014. If you monitor this long enough, you'll also find out when the patent is eventually granted or denied. Those are really key dates in the life cycle of a new technology. Another question is, where was it patented? Here, the patent lists the company's research and development labs in Cupertino, California. Another where that you'd really like to know is which World Patent Office was it patented. Regardless of their actual home, companies may patent in the United States, or in Europe, or in Japan. So why was it patented? The patent application includes all the patent claims, the new and novel things that make this invention and no other invention special. Some journalists also include a how question. How is the technology intended to be used? This is often something that you can read right off a patent as well. So there you have them, five W's and an H. For any given emerging technology, these questions provide a remarkably complete picture of technological development. The answers to these questions are free from the reading at the US and other patent offices all across the world. There was a lot of information on that patent, but is there enough information to really understand the full capabilities of Apple? Perhaps not but there are a thousand more patent applications to be read and analyzed, and that's just for Apple alone. Continuously monitoring the patent office to find new information about Apple is quite a lot of work. Understanding and compiling this information is still harder. Fortunately, this is the sort of work which can be automated and which scales well when performed by a computer, and that's where text mining comes into the picture. In this week of the course, I'll be giving you the tools you need to extract insights out of text data to answer these and other questions. We'll be using Pandas, which is the leading Python solution for producing useful standardized tables, queries, and reports. We'll also be previewing the Natural Language Toolkit, or NLTK. This package helps you tokenize full text resources so that you can find where one patent claim ends and another begins. We'll also be taking a look at regular expressions, a technique for finding and extracting significant patterns from your data. Join us in the forums while we track Europe's largest patenters, We'll be watching as they develop the key enabling technologies. Those are technologies like photonics, new materials, biotechnology, and microelectronics. I hope you'll add your voice to the forum. This is Scott Cunningham. Thank you for joining me today.